Hey, it's Deb with Enchanted Botanicals, and today is National Read-A-Book Day, and I'm so excited because my book is now available in a soft cover on Amazon. So I thought I would read just a couple paragraphs for you. So I wrote notes from an enchanted garden as part magical field guide and part journal. It reflects how I like to teach. As if we were chatting or working together one-on-one, -on -one, I want to provide you a bit of education. Too much gets boring, right? And a whole lot of empowerment and encouragement. Let's start with this. You know how you have a bunch of friends and tell them all slightly different versions of what's going on in your life? Well, that's how I see and work with the plants in my gardens. They have their standard message, but get to know them just a bit and they will tell you details that they haven't whispered to anyone else. Being a spiritual herbalist means that you work with the energy or the essence of plants. This is also the realm of faith, of listening to the words you already know. You might call it intuition, and that is as good a word as any. But just where does that nudge or knowing come from? It begins with the connection you make with the plant, simply through your intention to do so.